Hi, I'm Tova and this is Professor Pincushion. Today I'm going to do a demonstration on how to do the keyhole cutout. Want to add a fabric window into your sewing project? The keyhole is a shape cut out of your fabric that adds whimsy to your garments. I'll be doing a heart shaped keyhole, but you can really do a variety of shapes and get creative. Even if your pattern doesn't have a keyhole cutout included, it's simple to add and I'll show you how. Let's go ahead and get started. Cut out your fabric pieces as normal from your pattern pieces. Now, whatever piece that you want your keyhole cut out to appear, you're gonna cut out a duplicate of your fabric with that piece. So for example, I'm doing this with my front bodice. It's just folded in half, but it's a full front bodice. And I'm gonna use that same pattern that I used to cut out this to cut out out of another piece of fabric. Now it could be a contrasting lining type fabric, or you can use the same fabric. You just want to realize that you're going to do this keyhole, it's sort of like underlining, before you do any other part of the assembly. So you're not going to be doing any darts, you're not going to be sewing any seams yet. First, you're just going to cut out your two pieces and then we're going to move on to creating the keyhole part and treat it as a single piece when it's all done, just like with underlining. Place your two matching pieces together, right side to right side. Cut yourself a pattern of the keyhole shape that you desire. I'm doing a heart, but obviously you can do any shape you want. If you want to do a circle, if you want to do something else, just realize the more complicated you make it, the more difficult it's going to be. So I'm going to place it where I would like it to be. Just realize this, there's still going to be seam allowance here, so I don't want to put it too close to the top because then you're going to cut into that when you start sewing your seams together. So if you need to measure and draw a little line for yourself, you can do that. So I'm just going to place mine in the center here. Once I have a place for it, you can go ahead and put a couple pins to hold it. Then I'm going to use my fabric marker and draw directly on my fabric. And it doesn't matter if I do it with this side showing or I flip it over and do it with this side showing. Next, I'll stitch directly on my fabric marker line. So I'm gonna go right on that line around my whole design. You'll notice I put in some straight pins holding my blue fabric and green fabric together to make sure it's not gonna shift when I'm sewing it. I'm stitching on my line just using a regular straight stitch. Don't be afraid to take your time, especially if you're doing a difficult design. If your stitches aren't going to overlap when you come back around, then do a back stitch. Next, I'm cutting away the fabric that's inside my keyhole here. So I'm cutting both my green fabric and my blue fabric. Anything that's inside here is getting cut away. You just want to make sure you leave a little bit of fabric past your stitches, about an eighth of an inch. Here you can see how much I cut away. The more you cut away, the neater it's going to look. Any place where I have points, you can see here and here, I try to cut away as much as I possibly can. You want to make sure that you don't accidentally cut into your stitches. Also for curved areas, you're going to cut little notches like you can see I did here. Again, you're going to just cut a little point and you're going to try not to cut into your stitches. Next, I'm going to take all of this top piece, so my green fabric, and I'm going to put it through my cutout. So this is all going through here. So then my two bodice pieces are going to end up wrong side to wrong side. After you finish putting the pieces wrong side to wrong side, I would give the area a good press so it ends up looking as neat as possible. Next, you're going to do a top stitch around your design and that's just gonna finish it off and make it look really crisp. I would definitely do the top stitch looking at the right side of your bodice piece. I'm stitching close to that edge and you can use a contrasting thread color if you want this to stand out. At this point, the keyhole that I created is pretty much done. The last thing I'm going to do though is I'm gonna do a basting stitch around the perimeter of my whole piece of my bodice or whatever piece you're doing just to attach my green fabric and my blue fabric together. So now I can treat it as a single piece and it's gonna make it easier for me to start sewing the rest of my bodice pieces together. 
For basting, you can do the longest stitch on your machine. You don't have to worry about doing any back stitching, and you can do it inside the seam line. So if your seam allowance is 5 eighths of an inch, you can go ahead and do this at 3 eighths of an inch. I finished doing the basting stitch, so now I can continue on with my assembly and just treat this piece as you would any other normal single layer piece of fabric. For example, if my next step is I need to put a dart, I'm just going to do a dart like normal and not think about this as being two pieces of fabric, instead just think of it as being one piece of fabric. Now if you feel your fabric is super lightweight and maybe it's too flimsy and it's not really going to hold its shape that well, you can add some interfacing to the piece that's going to be on the inside. So in my case it would be the green fabric. And it could just be a small piece of interfacing that I would iron on to the back side of my green fabric where I'm going to do the cutout. Yes, you're going to cut most of it away, but you're at least going to have some interfacing on the perimeter and that's going to give it some stabilization. Now you can add a unique detail to your garments. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to get notified of our weekly releases. Also check out ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 350 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can check out our Patreon campaign and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.